Hey, what's up, YouTube? Rodica here, making a video regarding a question that is on everyone's mind, at least on the crypto mining space, is, is GPU mining still profitable in 2018? Particularly March of 2018, I picked a wonderful month to do this analysis. So um, hopefully this, this video will try to answer that question, at least what I'm going through on my equipment and um if you have if you guys have any questions at the end you know i'll try to answer them i'm not an expert by all means i'm just sharing my experience uh so i the first thing i do is i go to the website what to mine um and that's the first stop and probably my only stop as far as trying to get an idea of what i'm going to be dealing with as far as profitability for my equipment so i go to what to mine and because i am doing gpu mining like i said i chose the uh the nvidia uh, line of cards uh, for GPU mining so um, and uh, th this website really is is a, a quick way for you to analyze uh, your hash power as, uh, as opposed to what you're probably going to be making or not making and you just plug in how many cards you're going to be utilizing on your mining experience and it calculates your hash power your how many watts typically you should be uh, drawing from the wall and, and your daily cost if you put your your contractual agreement you know with the electric company how much you're going to be pay, uh, paying per kilowatt per hour um, and and it gives you an idea of which coins are going to be making you the most money the most profit so for my experience here i chose um, i have two 1070 oh actually this is the wrong uh number right here two 1070 ti's and uh 70 uh, 7 1080 ti's and it automatically loads and basically i'm going to be looking at the equihash algorithm i'm going to leave the other ones on just for the sake of going through this exercise but um, it automatically loads the how many solutions per second and the wattage that i'm going to be drawing from the wall um, and it gives me a daily cost. So by running my equipment daily, 24 seven, I'm basically going to be paying $3 a day for the electric bill. Um, but let's try to figure out how much I will be bringing in in revenue. So this, this website, once you click on calculate, and like I said, two and seven, a total of nine cards, it gives you the top coins that are gonna be making you some money. So why is it particularly crazy right now in March? We are seeing a little bit of a downturn in, in, uh, in the crypto uh, sphere. Um, uh, we're, we're not as exuberant as my man Data Dash says. Uh, we are going sideways, um, but you know, it's th this, is, this is one of those things where you have to ask yourself, um, are six this is this is the number is 1696 uh, a day for the amount of equipment that i have and the noise and the heat is this worth the trouble that's a question that i'm going to be that you're going to have to be asking yourself so i currently mine zencash i am getting 16 dollars and six cents i get you know i look at this number so i am getting 0.73 coins of zencash a day so I'm accumulating that that amount of coin daily. Um, right now, it would if if I were to sell the ones that I have, I would only get um, you know x amount of money because the the price of Zen Cash is is kind of low at the moment. But the trick is to hold it right, hold your coins in the hopes that in the future they go up in value two times, maybe three. I don't know if you're lucky. So this this is uh, uh my current outlook now it's it's a little disappointing i'm not gonna lie um when i started buying my cards in december i do i was i was looking at this website and i was thinking oh my god you know i'm going to i'm gonna be making 40 50 if i do two three rigs 80 90 dollars a day i was just i was just you know dreaming but based based on that it it's not necessarily as as glamorous as it, as it was in December and January. Things were just blowing up, and all these calculations were you know a little bit on on the on the hopeful hopeful side. Um, it's not the case, but you know ups and downs in markets they always happen. I do this because I love it. It's a hobby, 
but $16 a day for my equipment, that's nine full-fledged gaming cards and, and the setups that I have, you know, it's expensive. Uh, my 1080 Ti rig was, I think, close to $6,000. You do the math, how long is it gonna take to pay that off? Um, but with that being said, I do cash out every now and then. Once I see the opportunity to cash out, I can take my coins and I get some money and then I invested on, on more equipment. So that's why I'm building my second my second rig. And I, that's why I have two 1070 Ti's. That one's gonna be a little bit less expensive than my 1080 Ti rig uh, for um, different reasons based, based on the ele electric um, capabilities of my house. I can only have um, so much power drawn from the wall. Uh, so that's, that's, another, that's another subject, but I'm limiting my, my second rig on that. And like I mentioned, the, uh, I go to this website called uh, CoinMarket, uh, CoinMarketCap.com. I just kind of look at where we stand as far as um, our, the, the total market capitalization. If you really look at three months, at a three month outlook, we were very, very, very high in, in that regard. We, the market cap was at 830 billion. So everybody that was mining, everybody that was investing, you know, uh, that started mining in, in, in the early, um, uh, early part of the year, obviously made a lot of money. So hopefully a lot of people cashed out, but, but that, that's when I was making my estimates, uh, in December. Oh man, you know, I'm going to be making a bunch of money, but that's not necessarily the case now. It, it it obviously went down. Now we're looking at a market cap of, you know, 380. The coin that I am looking at, uh, Zencash, and the one that I have been mining since the beginning, um, right now is at 26. So when I was doing my little calculations, it was like at 40, 50. Let's see that that green one that price 53, 37. You see how high it went up, 61.90. So it could potentially get back to that point um but who knows it'll pro who knows if it goes up who knows if it goes down nobody know that the one thing about cryptocurrencies the one thing is that you don't know what's going to happen you're hopeful that it's going to go up but will it i don't know maybe my profitability is going to keep going down Man, I remember when this thing was about 30, 40, 50, I was still happy with that. With the equipment that I had, I was like, oh man, this is this is great. But that's not that's not necessarily true. Now, the question is, is it profitable? Well, considering the equipment, if you go to Amazon and if you try to buy one set of cards from scratch, you're gonna have a hard time. Like I mentioned in my previous video, there's not a lot of supply and a lot of demand on these cards and a lot of people are jacking up those prices. I mean, come on, a 1080 Ti, when it came out, it was like $700, $800 tops. Now they're selling them for $1,500? Come on, give me a break. That's ridiculous. $1,229, look at all these resellers. $1,198, uh, it's, just, it's just not viable. The only thing that you can do is, I guess, get it directly from the manufacturers. They're selling it at MSRP, you know, quite, quite uh, cheaper than that. I mean, it's, 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 it's way more viable if you're thinking about building a new set, uh, a mining computer to kind of buy things one by one, but that's going to take forever. God knows when there these parts are available. So yeah, I don't know. To me, um, because I got in and I bought these parts in December, it's still profitable in a sense, right? As long as this number is not negative, really, the Zen Cash, as long as this number is not negative, it's profitable in a sense. And I'm very hopeful that it's going to go up. Might not, but at least I have some equipment. I can probably sell it off. So that's one other, one other aspect of, of crypto mining is that if you do have equipment, at least you have some sort of uh, material that you can get rid of and your losses are not as as you know dramatic as if you invested and then everything went to zero so i do have investments in that i started in july of last year i was able to ride that wave so i'm not in the negatives by any mean uh, so i'm i'm just very very happy to be in this space uh, this is 
a, a wonderful hobby for me. I, I went from extreme video gaming to like, you know, crypto mining. So it works out for me. I, I really like it. Um, but like I'm at, without beating, you know, this, this thing to death is crypto currency mining, GPU mining rather, uh, particularly profitable in 2018 as of right now. Yes, but who knows? I'm just, I'm just riding that, that wave. Let's, let's see, let, I'm a, I'm a drive this car until the wheels fall off and, and hopefully it'll, it'll land me somewhere nice, but. In the meantime, my 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 stance is that it is profitable. Profitable. These coins do have a a tendency of going up. They do go down. Um, the there's a lot of expectation for the market to grow. We're looking at um, 400 billion dollar market cap. There's optimism that it'll reach one trillion, two trillion. God knows, you know, if it goes to four, five, eight trillion, something to that to that you know to that level. If it does then obviously a lot of these coins are going to ride that wave and they're going to multiply. And that's what I'm hoping. If not, hey, at least it was fun. Uh, thanks for watching. I know I kind of made it a little bit long. 11 minutes. I wouldn't watch an 11 minute video, but if you did, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And I'll be, um, I'll be making another video soon. All right. Take it easy.